welcome everybody welcome back to homestead heart and y'all in today's video i am going to be sharing with you all one of my absolute favorite products to use when i am baking bread but before i do that let me tell you this is a sponsored video by azure standard and you all already know how i feel about azure standard I've been singing their praises <laughs> for quite some time now, okay? And I have loved shopping with them for quite some time now. I mean, I really love shopping with them. It just makes the process is so simple for me, okay? I absolutely love it. And for so many, for thousands of people, people love shopping with them, right? But let me tell you what I'm bringing to you. Let me say what you got, what you got. <laughs> You all, today I'm going to be talking to you all about Vital Wheat Gluten. Let me show y'all. Vital Wheat Gluten. What is this? <laughs> y'all, I use this when I'm baking my breads. Any breads that I'm using that are going to be yeast breads, whether it be loaves or cinnamon buns or something like that, I'm always using the Vital Wheat Gluten. All right? Now, vital wheat gluten, just to kind of let you know just a little bit, I'm not a, I'm not a vital wheat glutenologist. I'm just telling you <laughs> a little bit about what I have learned and experienced while using this product. Now, let me show it to you. Vital wheat gluten is literally whole wheat flour with water, but it has been processed in a way to remove everything except the gluten. But I'm gluten free. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's, I understand. <laughs> but for those of you who do eat breads with gluten in them, that's what this is. It is literally whole wheat flour, water that has been processed in a way to remove everything except the gluten. And as you can see, it looks just like flour. Look at it. Look at there, look just like flour. See it? See, that's it. Now this does add quite a bit, well not a lot, but it does add additional protein to your bread. So like if you're going to the store and you're buying unbleached flour to bake your breads and stuff with, you know, breads like, I mean, flours like that may not have the protein or the amount of protein in it that you might want for a beautiful loaf of bread you know you want your you want the elasticity in the dough as it rises you want it to be nice and elastic you know you want your crumb in your finished product when you're baking your bread you want that crumb to be beautiful you want it to to look a certain way now the vital wheat gluten adds that protein to your bread now in my experience of using this product it has always turned out the same for me with the exception of the summertime because of the humidity level sometimes my bread depending on the temperatures um, outside can kind of fluctuate a little bit but the overall product is still a great loaf of bread or a great roll of cinnamon buns or something whatever you're using yeast rolls dinner rolls whatever this is still going to be a beautiful addition to your mixture okay now remember remember i said what it was made from and i was showing you the texture okay so i would keep this separate from your other flowers make sure you don't mix this up with that because you don't want to add a lot of this okay I only use a tablespoon to about every three cups of flour that I use. And I use nine cups of flour in my bread recipe. My bread recipe calls for nine cups of flour. All right. But I am making several loaves of bread at a time. And then whatever I have as a loaf, the, the other loaves just go in the freezer and I take them out as needed. Okay. Okay. Now, since we don't eat bread every day, it lasts me a little bit, right? So you all, I'm telling you, this makes a wonderful addition to your breads, okay? I'm telling y'all, this is like, um, I'm serious. It's like flour with superpowers. <laughs> it's flour 
power with superpowers. It's a superhero. <laughs> it is to me. Now, baking my bread without it, I still love my bread. My bread was still really, really good. But once I started using the Vital Wheat Gluten and I noticed the rise in the bread, I noticed the uh, crumb texture in my bread. It was all, it was way better. I mean, the bread was still good, but this just, like I said, it's like flour with superpowers. It just made it great, you know? And Mr. H, he could actually tell a difference in the bread. He loved it. He loved it. He said it looked, it looked almost like Mrs. Baird's bread or something like that out of the store, but it tasted way better. So ever since then, you all, I have been using this and you can see this is a 27 ounce package right here. Okay. 27 ounce packages. All right. And with this 27 ounce package using a small amount, it will last you a while. All right. Depending on how much you bake bread, you know, but it will last you a while. This, I don't know how long I've had this package here, but it's been months it's probably been like five or six months if not longer and you can see i still have quite a bit in my bag so this 27 ounces for me is probably just about a one year supply unless i just kind of go overboard with baking bread but because like i said we don't eat bread all the time a loaf of bread will last us in this house what 10 days maybe and I do about four loaves at a time so we're talking about over a month <laughs> it'll take us to go through all of that bread now anything additional like dinner rolls when I make dinner rolls well of course those are going that night <laughs> those are going to be going that night but I don't even make them that much because we just don't eat a lot of we don't eat a lot of bread. You know, we don't have little ones around all the time. Now, when the grandbabies get here, I will definitely be increasing my bread because they love bread. You know, whether they're making jam sandwiches or just um, any kind of sandwiches, turkey sandwiches, whatever it is, or toast with their breakfast in the morning, they will eat a lot of bread. So I'll probably, probably be doubling what I do when they come in the summer, because as you know, they spend just about their entire summer with grandma or grandpa, right? So I do have to make an additional amount of bread when they come, but y'all, they love, they love homemade bread. And she loves the way it smells. My granddaughter loves the way it smells. She just makes the house smell so good. <laughs> But you all, that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to share this product with you all. By the way, how do I keep this? Just like I keep everything else in a cool, dry place, okay? In a cool, dry place. And that's how I store. I leave it on the shelf and I put it, it stays in this bag, just like so. And I normally would have like a paper clip or something, a clip on this to make sure that this stays closed. So, but I took it off to show you all. But in any case, you all, that's it for today. If you want to check it out, I will leave a, a link in the description box below. I believe I even have a discount code for you, all right? So if you want to take advantage of it, go ahead and have a look at it or do your research and see if this is a product that you think you might be interested in getting when you're baking your fresh breads, all right? All right, y'all, that's going to do it for today's video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and please share the video. Join us on Instagram. Yep, we done started back posting on Instagram. <laughs> I don't know why I don't post a lot in certain places. I don't know. I'm just totally off of Facebook. I ain't been on Facebook in I don't know how long. But we are picking up on our Instagram. So if you are on Instagram, go ahead and follow us over on Instagram as well. That link is already on our page somewhere. All right. All right, y'all, that's going to do it. If you haven't done so, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos we upload to our channel. And thank you all again for watching Homestead Heart. Y'all stay tuned for this weekend's video. It's going to be a wonderful video this weekend, Mr. H and I. 
we got something to share with y'all. <laughs> Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.